Many companies struggle with overall contract management, and it shows a key challenge with unstructured information that lies hidden in documents. In this quick brief, I'll show you how you can use FSOF technology as a key component in a contract management solution with SharePoint as the end resting place. In a nutshell, we'll turn unstructured contract data into structured output. FSOMF builds technology to help organizations understand, process, and analyze their unstructured content that lies within documents. We have two products. Today, I'll show you FSOF Transact that focuses on real-time transactional processing and can classify and extract data from documents that originate from any source. We also have a big data analytics product called FSOF Insight that can consume large existing document sets, classifying and correlating important data, and allowing organizations to visualize previously hidden information. When you look at contract flow and processing within organizations, the majority of this business is accomplished through email. The challenge here is that there's no standardization when it comes to saving contract PDFs, naming them, and having all the bits and pieces of data as actionable information for business processes. Things like renewal dates, margins, special terms, and other key data can re remain difficult to manage. With Episoft as a processor, there's a single repeatable process that ingests and analyzes your contracts. Our machine learning and analytics technology extracts important contract data and organizes your documents in just about any repository. In the demo today, I'll show two key use cases. In the first, if you're like most organizations, you have a resting place for all your legal contracts and agreement. In the first demo, we'll process historical contracts and extract all the key information as data. In this example, we'll put it all in SharePoint Online, but note you can place it anywhere, Excel, a DB table, XML, or just about any other format or system. In the second use case demo, I'll outline how FSOF solves a typical inbound contract problem. In this case, a customer has signed a partner agreement, a cloud SLA, and a non-disclosure. It was signed and scanned to an email address as one big PDF. With FSOF, we can take combined files from any source, whether it's email, our mobile scanning app, DocuSign, or just a drop folder, and use our tech to classify, separate, and extract data. The final resting place for these will be a SharePoint legal library with separate folders for each contract type. Let's get started. So in the first demo, I mentioned how we're gonna go ahead and consume a large volume of contracts and extract metadata. So before I actually show you the contract and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab some of these contracts that I made up. And by the way, all the data and information in this demo is actually um, built for this demo. There's no real data or live data in it. Let's go ahead and, uh, and drag and drop a bunch of PDF contracts into an FSOP processing folder. When we do that, the FSOP system is going to go ahead and detect that those have been brought in, and you'll see it'll start processing those and bringing them into the system for analysis. While that's going on, let's take a look at a typical contract. One of the challenges with processing contracts programmatically is that they change. They're unstructured and they're dynamic. So if you look at the structure of this partner agreement, you can see that the effective date, the name of the partner company, the address can all vary. So you can see if, uh, if the partner has a really long name, it's gonna push all this information onto the next line because these contracts were auto-generated. So along with that, not only do we have information that lies within paragraphs that's difficult to get to with other technologies, We've also got a bunch of other terms that can uh, uh, persist throughout different places within the contract. So, for example, the territory you can see here is on one of the later pages, page 8. The margin is here, and there's other margins within that paragraph. And there's other information in here that we'd love to have access to and bring in so we can analyze it. 
Now understand what I'm showing you today is a pretty simplistic contract processing example. Note that with FSOft, our extraction engine can do all different types of things from paragraph extraction, analysis of entities within paragraph. We have cross-section extraction to extract table information. So pretty much any type of data that lies within these contracts, we can bring in and process automatically. So now that those contracts have been processing, let's go ahead and open up SharePoint and take a peek at our end result. So what I did in FSOft is I used my machine learning configuration to set up contract classification and identification. Once I identify the contract, I know the data to extract and I use extraction rules. So if I come into my partner agreements folder now, you can see that I brought in the document and this is a library obviously where I auto name the document and then I've got all my metadata that I've extracted the name, agreement date, address, the territory, the margin that that current partner is, is under. So you can see now that I've got this data extracted, I can use it to run analytics. I can kick off workflows for renewal dates. I've got the ability to, uh, to actually manage these contracts and the, the data that lies within, which help me uh, better serve my partners or my customers. Okay, so that's example one, bulk processing. And note, although I used a network folder, we can pick up from just about any source, in, including existing content management systems. So that's use case one. Use case two, if we take an example here, I'm gonna go ahead and, and open up my contracts folder. In this example, if you remember, we're gonna process this inbound contract. And, I've given this to a, a customer and the customer took it like most folks, they print it out and they sign it. Understand that we've got the ability as well to ingest from email. So if you're using DocuSign or another technology and you want to process these contracts as they come in, you can do it from just about any source. Now, this particular PDF is 23 pages and it's got a partner agreement. It's got a, uh, a non-disclosure agreement. And it's actually got a cloud services, uh, uh, master services and license agreement as well. So you can see that one PDF has uh, a bunch of different files within it. So let's go ahead and grab it and we'll drag it and drop it into a processing folder. And this one's going to go through, it's going to be a little different than the, the last demo example. Um, the last demo example just focus on partner agreements. What this particular demo is going to do is it's going to go through, take that multi-document PDF, classify, split based on where one document ends and another begins, and then apply extraction rules based on the type of document from the classification. Okay, so we'll give it a sec to process. So we should be done now. So you can see I've got my three folders in SharePoint. If I come into my cloud agreements, you can see that I've got my, uh, my PDF named correctly. So I've got a uh, company name, type of agreement, and then an, uh, a doc identifier. I could add date on here as well. And then I've got all my information populated. I've got the same for the non-disclosure and the same for the partner agreement. You can see for the NDA, I didn't populate all the fields, but uh, ju just a few of them. And I didn't take the time to set up content types, but I could do that as well. So. If you have any questions on this overall contract solution, give us a shout at www.fsoft.com. Thanks.